When we talk about female infertility, we're referring to a medical condition. It's really important to understand that this is not a personal failure or something to be ashamed of. The clinical definition is actually quite specific. Infertility is generally diagnosed when a woman under the age of 35 has been trying to conceive for one full year without success. This means having regular, unprotected intercourse during that time. For women 35 or older, doctors often recommend seeking an evaluation after six months of trying. Age matters because a woman's fertility naturally declines, and addressing issues sooner can make a difference. It's a condition that affects millions of people from all walks of life. Infertility does not mean you can never have a biological child, it simply means that you're facing challenges with conception and may need medical help to achieve a pregnancy. This is a very common issue. In fact, about one in eight couples in the United States experience trouble getting pregnant or sustaining a pregnancy. The journey can be emotionally taxing, filled with uncertainty and a wide range of feelings. Many people feel isolated, but it's so important to remember that you are not alone in this experience. The path to parenthood may look different than you originally imagined, but there are many routes to building a family. The diagnosis of infertility is really just the first step on a path toward understanding and treatment. It's not an endpoint. When a couple seeks help, a doctor will conduct a thorough evaluation of both partners. For the woman, this often involves a detailed medical history, a physical exam, blood tests to check hormone levels, and imaging tests like an ultrasound to look at the reproductive organs. Identifying a cause is like finding the right key to unlock the door to effective treatment. It helps your medical team create a personalized plan tailored specifically to your body and your situation. One of the most frequent causes of female infertility relates to ovulation. Problems with ovulation account for about 25% of all infertility cases. This means the woman is not releasing an egg regularly, or sometimes, not at all. The most common condition causing this is polycystic ovary syndrome or PCOS. PCOS is a hormonal imbalance that disrupts the ovulation cycle making periods irregular and unpredictable. Other causes include hormonal issues from the pituitary gland or the hypothalamus in the brain which control the hormones that trigger ovulation. Even excessive exercise, high stress levels, being significantly underweight or being significantly overweight can throw these hormonal balances off. Another group involves structural problems in the reproductive system. Damage to the fallopian tubes can prevent egg and sperm from meeting. This is called tubal factor infertility. The tubes can become blocked due to pelvic inflammatory disease. PID is often caused by untreated STIs like chlamydia and gonorrhea. Previous abdominal or pelvic surgeries can cause scar tissue or adhesions that block the tubes. Endometriosis can also cause scarring and blockages. Problems within the uterus like fibroids, polyps, or congenital shapes can interfere with implantation. And finally, age is a major factor because egg quantity and quality decline as women get older. While not all causes of infertility can be prevented, there are absolutely proactive steps you can take to protect and optimize your reproductive health. One of the most impactful things you can do is maintain a healthy body weight. Being significantly overweight or underweight can upset hormone balance. Fat cells produce estrogen, and too many or too few can upset the hormone balance needed to release an egg. Aim for a BMI of 18.5 to 24.9 through a balanced diet and regular moderate exercise. Another key area of prevention is protecting yourself from sexually transmitted infections. Infections like chlamydia and gonorrhea can lead to PID and scarring. Using condoms consistently and correctly is a highly effective way to prevent the spread of STIs. It's also important to get regular STI screenings, especially with new or multiple partners. Your lifestyle choices also play a significant role. Smoking is incredibly damaging to fertility in both women and men. In women, the chemicals in cigarettes can damage your eggs and interfere with egg travel through the fallopian tubes. Similarly, while moderate alcohol consumption is generally considered okay, Heavy drinking can negatively impact fertility. It's best to limit alcohol intake when you are actively trying to conceive. Finally, it's important to be proactive about your overall health and aware of your own body. This means having regular checkups with your gynecologist and discussing any changes in your menstrual cycle, such as irregular periods, severe pain, or unusually heavy bleeding. Being informed about your family's medical history can also be helpful. Empowering yourself with knowledge is a cornerstone of preventative health and a critical part of your fertility journey. When natural conception is not happening, there are several well-established medical treatments that can help. 
the first line of treatment often involves fertility medications designed to stimulate ovulation. These are typically used for women who have irregular ovulation or absent ovulation. Oral medications are commonly prescribed, clomiphene citrate and letrozole. They work by tricking the brain into producing hormones that make an egg mature and be released. For some women, these medications alone regulate the cycle and help them conceive. In other cases, injectable hormones may be used for a stronger response. If oral medications fail or other factors exist, the next step is often intrauterine insemination, IUI. IUI. Specially prepared sperm is placed directly into the uterus around ovulation to give sperm a head start. This bypasses the cervix and gives sperm a head start to the fallopian tubes. IUI is often combined with ovulation-inducing meds to ensure an egg is available. Good options for mild male factor infertility, mild male factor infertility, unexplained infertility, or women using donor sperm. For more complex issues, blocked tubes, severe male factor infertility, or diminished ovarian reserve, IVF is the most effective treatment. IVF is multi-step. Injectable hormones stimulate multiple eggs, eggs are retrieved, in the lab, eggs are fertilized. After growing for three to five days, healthy embryos are transferred into the uterus. Surgical options like hysteroscopy or laparoscopy can remove fibroids, polyps, or adhesions to restore fertility or improve success with IUI or IVF. The right treatment path is chosen after a thorough evaluation by a fertility specialist. Beyond major medical interventions, the choices you make in your daily life can have a real and positive impact on your fertility. Diet is a powerful tool. Focusing on a balanced, nutrient-rich diet can help regulate hormones and improve overall reproductive health. This means eating plenty of fruits and vegetables, choosing lean sources of protein like fish and beans, and incorporating healthy fats from sources like avocados and nuts. Switch to complex carbohydrates such as whole grains and legumes instead of highly processed white bread and sugars. These foods help manage blood sugar and insulin levels, particularly important for women with PCOS. Regular moderate exercise is another cornerstone of a fertility-friendly lifestyle. Activities like brisk walking, swimming, cycling, or yoga for about 30 to 60 minutes most days are ideal. It is important to avoid overly strenuous or excessive exercise, which can negatively affect ovulation. Managing stress is absolutely critical when you are trying to conceive. Finding healthy ways to cope, mindfulness, gentle yoga, nature or hobbies, supports mental and physical health. Some people find talking with a therapist or joining a support group invaluable. Finally, prioritize getting enough quality sleep, about seven to nine hours per night. Stick to a regular sleep schedule, create a dark quiet environment, and avoid screens before bed. These lifestyle adjustments work together to support both your well-being and your fertility journey. Be proactive, know the signs of conditions like PCOS or fibroids and seek early care. Knowing your family history can guide early evaluation. Empowering yourself with reliable information is key to preventative health. These are tangible everyday choices you can make to give yourself the best possible chance for a future pregnancy. The journey through infertility can feel overwhelming, but it is so important to hold on to hope. The field of reproductive medicine has made incredible advancements over the past few decades. Treatments that were once considered experimental are now routine procedures with high success rates, helping millions of people around the world achieve their dream of having a baby. From simple medication regimens to sophisticated procedures like IVF, there are more effective options available today than ever before. This is a testament to the power of medical science and a powerful reason to remain optimistic. Your path may have unexpected turns, but many roads can lead to parenthood. Seek out support from your partner, trusted friends, family, or a professional therapist. Connecting with others who have been through a similar experience can be incredibly validating and empowering. You do not have to navigate these complex emotions alone. Knowledge is power. Taking time to understand causes and proven treatments allows you to be an active participant in your care. Ask your doctor's questions, read trusted medical sources, and become your own best advocate. Work closely with your medical team. Building a strong support system is just as important as finding the right medical team. Ultimately, the goal is to build a family, and there are many different ways to do that. While medical treatments offer hope for a biological child, adoption and gestational surrogacy are additional paths to parenthood. The journey may be challenging, but it is one filled with possibility. Stay informed, lean on your support system, and work closely with your medical team. There is every reason to be hopeful.
and to believe that you can and will find your way to the family you have always wanted. The science is on your side, and so is a community of people who understand,